There's a shade called Wand Noise So Pigmented. Do I really look like this? <laughs> Just being honest. Why does my hair always turn out how I want it to look on the day that I need to wash it? I really like my hair today but it definitely needs a wash. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm gonna to be testing some new makeup, which I haven't done in a while. As in like, I haven't done a dedicated product focused makeup video in a while, just about like one collection. But recently, last week, Jeffree Star launched a collection with Morphe, which I've gotta say, I think, it's a little bit random considering he has his own brand that does eyeshadow to launch an eyeshadow palette with another brand it just seems a bit odd to me but i mean you know whatever floats your boat i'm not criticizing at all i think if i had that opportunity i'd probably do the same you know but he has an eyeshadow palette he also has a setting spray which i think is it, well it says it's starberry scent so we're gonna see how that smells i didn't get the brush set just because i've got <laughs> a lot of makeup brushes. I did not need to spend another like 50 quid on a brush set. But I got these two and today I'm gonna to be giving them an honest review and impressions. I would have done this review sooner. I paid five pound for, what was it called? Express delivery and it didn't arrive for like five days. So I finally have it, we're gonna test it. And also as well, I just wanna say I would never normally start a makeup video where I'm doing eyeshadow with mascara already on, but I've had this makeup on all day and I didn't really wanna like take the whole thing off and redo it just to test out the eyeshadow. So if I do get some on my eyelashes, I'm just gonna go over and probably stick fake lashes on anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So the Set and Refresh Mist was originally 18 pounds in the UK, um, but I did use code JSTAR to get 10% off my whole order. So that brought this down to 16 pound 20. The eyeshadow palette was 35 pounds and then it got three pound 50 off. So then it was 31 pound 50. And then I paid five pound for express delivery, which I'm probably gonna ask for a refund for because it didn't arrive in express time. So altogether this came to 52 pound 70, which makeup is expensive. I think it looks like a pretty nice palette. Bearing in mind, I haven't seen any reviews of this. I haven't even seen any swatches. I just really like the look of it. So it was like, I'm gonna test it in a video. The main shade that I was drawn to was this one because I thought it was gonna be like a foiled eyeshadow, but it's actually a pressed glitter, which is kind of interesting um, because I think I might need some glitter glue for that one. I'm gonna do some swatches of this. I think I'm gonna go row by row just to see what the pigment is like and get my first impressions. The top row shades are literally called Welcome Back to My Channel Wand Noise. There's a shade called Wand Noise with some stars next to it. Welcome back to my... I've run out of fingers. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Okay, so Welcome is just a super bright white sort of color. Ooh. Back is a very muted sort of matte pink, but that's actually a lot more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. Two is a baby pink shimmer, and my is a very similar color to this one, but it's just a little bit lighter. This pink shimmer has got a little bit of chunkiness to it. I'm not too sure if you can see that. A little bit there, can you see? It's a little bit kind of like chunky flaky, but then if you blend it out, that literally got rid of that problem. I think I just picked up too much on my finger because I do find that with a lot of shimmers. Like even in my own Revolution palettes, if you take too much of the shimmers, they can like bunch up a little bit. Okay, right, let's do channel, which is an orange, and then wand noise. <laughs> so channel is a matte orange, that one there. It's quite light. And then wand noise is like a sort of satin. It's not really a shimmer, but it's also not matte. Oh wow, these are very pigmented. So we have Lynn. Wow. That's a pigmented cream color. 1985. Mogul. Ooh, yikes, okay. Those ones have got a lot of fallout. It's like crumbling off my finger. This one is called Self Made. It's like a neon pink. There's a lot of fallout on my hand there. However, I think that is because some of them are pressed pigments, so they are gonna have a little bit more fallout because it says on the back, eyeshadows and pressed pigments. So I'm guessing those ones are the pressed pigments. Dog Mum is this one, shimmery pink, that's really nice. And then Honest Truth. You can't see it too much in my hand there, but it's a peach. So pigmented. Ooh, wow, designer label is beautiful. That's a really nice matte, Mr. Diva. Another nice matte, Boss Angeles. A little bit less pigmented, but still really nice. This must be another pressed pigment, Pink Fleet, but that's also really bright. It stained my pinky. Calabasas is a burgundy, gorgeous. We don't know her. 
so far the impressions I'm getting, these are really nice eyeshadows um, from the way that they swatch. Although the pink ones have slightly stained my fingers. Whoa, oh my god, okay. Millions is a pressed glitter and I just like full on dug out a bit of that by accident. Rolls with it, another stunning shimmer. Okay, this is the pressed glitter one. It kind of feels like Vaseline mixed with glitter, but that applies really nicely. Maybe you wouldn't need a glitter glue for that actually, but that's definitely one you'd have to apply with your finger. Girl, what's the tea? Vroom Vroom, which is a gray, which is one of the only cool tones in here. A really nice gray. And then we have a silver, which is called Custom Rims, which is really nice. I have now got glitter all over my hand. Glam Rapids. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's almost like a silver with a bit of green. Wake and Bake, which is like a limey green sort of color. Nate is a really bright green, which is that one there. Drive Through, oh my God, that color. It matches my outfit and it's so pretty. And then the final two are called High Dude and Fast Lane, which is a black. Oh, oh. that is a black. Very nice brown. Oh my God. I just got lipstick on my Fitbit, but um, hmm, that is, that's a matte black. That's a really good matte black. A couple of the pressed pigment shades do have a bit of fallout, so be careful. It's more like the bright pinks and purples, and the glittery shade is still all over me, like all over both hands somehow. I love the big mirror of this as well. Right, let's put it on my eyes. Right, now I've got to pick what type of look I'm gonna do. I am so desperate right now to do a warm toned look because that's what I would normally gravitate towards. However, I think I'm gonna do something green. Right, so this girl right here, her account is called Lenka Lol, and she has done a green look using the palette. And it looks really pretty, so I'm gonna do that. So I'm starting out with the shade called Lin, which is the kind of creamy one. And I'm just gonna use that as a general base. Wow, that's really pigmented. I wouldn't normally expect a cream to really show up on my eyelid, but you can actually see that quite a lot. I'm already annoyed at the mascara on my eyelash. <laughs> and then taking the shade called Wake and Bake, which is this like, I would say it's the color of marijuana, but I don't really think it is. But it's a matte sort of lime green color. And I'm just gonna put this all up in my crease. You know when your skin makeup has been on for like 12 hours and you look in the mirror and you're like, hmm, do I really look like this? What possessed me to do green? I mean, it's a decent color. <laughs> Why does this side look darker than this side? What am I doing? <laughs> I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade Nate, which is this super, super, super bright, neon almost green. And I'm just gonna add that. Wow, okay, I... I don't know whether it's because I put down a matte shade all over my lid as a base, but can you kind of see there, when I first packed it on, it was pigmented, but then when I kind of go to blend it out, it's almost like wiping away the color. Yeah, do you see what I mean? It's definitely working better when I'm just kind of packing it on rather than fully blending it. But yeah, it's definitely working better when I just pack it on rather than blend it because when I was blending it, it was kind of just wiping it away. By the way, I do just want to say this now in case anyone's new on my channel. I'm not a makeup artist. I literally just play around with makeup and kind of see what happens. I think actually I'm going to take a slightly bigger brush and I'm going to take a little bit of the shade called Mr. Diva, which is this peachy sort of color. And I'm just going to use that on the edges to kind of blend them out a little bit more. Right, what I'm definitely noticing Thing is that when you put these eyeshadows on top of each other, the matte shades, it kind of just knocks off the colors that are underneath. So I would definitely, 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 what I'm really wishing I should have done is put down a sticky base and not set it, like put down a concealer and leave it wet. I think it's more the fact that these are pressed pigments rather than eyeshadows. Well, the shades that I've used so far, I think. Um, so, you know, you've just got to be a little bit more careful with them. I remember having this problem with James Charles's palette as well. But I'm just picking it up as like a makeup lover and somebody that kind of would use eyeshadow palettes normally and just doing what I would usually do. Let's do brown. I'm going to go for this shade called High Dude.
most of the green is kind of just disappearing. I don't know if I'm doing something severely wrong here, but I'm just doing my eyeshadow how I would normally do it, and I'm really struggling. Like, the brown isn't blending out, it's more, like, it's not blending into the other shades, it's more just staying in one place and then removing the green colour. I'm making such a mess. I'm just gonna try and like blend it out a little bit more. No? <laughs> right, let's try the other side and let's try just packing it on. I'm just gently packing that on instead of blending it. But then look, it definitely needs a bit of blending. I'm just using a very, very light hand to kind of try and blend it out a little bit. You guys can see what I mean, right? It's kind of just sticking here and then the rest of the colours just kind of disappeared. And look at this side as well. I tried to blend out the edges and it just got stuck here and then just blended out, blended away the rest of these colours. This is not how I intended this video to go or expected it to go. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna go back in with the shade Nate because that's the bright green that I really wanted to kind of come through but it's pretty much disappeared. Maybe my problem is I was just over blending but then for over blending, it's not looking very blended. <laughs> not even trying to be harsh. Like I wanted to give this a nice review, but so far I'm really, really struggling. I'm gonna take some concealer on the back of my hand. I'm gonna try and go for a cut crease. You know when you're doing a cut crease and it just keeps getting higher and higher and you just kind of have to let it happen? <laughs> right, what I wanna see now is if those green shades go better over the top of wet concealer. So I'm going back in with Nate, which is the super bright green. There we go. See, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted originally. So it's definitely worked a whole lot better and it's come out so much brighter using the base underneath it. What am I gonna do now? Let's take a bit of Wake and Bake, which is the other green matte. Yeah, see, look, it comes out so Oh, so much better on top of wet concealer. Let's go in with Glam Rapids, which is this one here. It's like a greeny silver sort of color. And I'm gonna put that on the inner corner or like inner half of my eyelid. Wow, that's gorgeous. Yeah, okay, that shade is stunning. And then taking some of the shade called Drive Through, which is this like khaki green, olive green shimmer. I'm just gonna run some of that on my lower lash line. And then going back in with the shade Nate, which is the bright green again. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that. And then on my inner corners, I'm taking designer label. Ooh, that is brilliant. And then you know what? I'm gonna go in with this shade called Millions, which is the pressed glitter. Oh, I'm scared. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my inner corners. Okay, no, it's just falling off my face. Okay, I think you would need a glitter primer with that, like a glitter glue. But yeah, half of that just fell onto my lap. So this is what we're looking at for the finished eyeshadow look. There is definitely areas of patchiness. As soon as I put that concealer on and started putting the eyeshadows onto wet concealer, it worked so much better. I'm not mad at the overall look, but it was a struggle with those shades around here. I'm just gonna do my eyeliner and I'm gonna put on some Girls With Attitude Luxury Faux Mink Lashes in, do they have a name? Eye Impact, they look like this. Right, so I haven't done the best job at applying those lashes. They were a little bit tricky, but this is the overall look and I'm not gonna lie, I don't even recognize myself right now. <laughs> I haven't worn makeup this heavy and dramatic in a long, time and my lashes are peeling off would it be one of my videos with lashes if they weren't peeling off right so the final thing to test in this video is the setting spray i mostly got this i'm not gonna lie because it said that it had like a strawberry scent i do like the original morphe setting spray but i'm not gonna lie i am still yet to find a setting spray that beats my urban decay all nighter you do get quite a big bottle and the morphe setting spray is like a really nice fine mist God, it smells so good. I don't really know if I want to put that on my face though, but wow, oh, it smells like strawberry sweets. Oh, that's weird. There's one stream at the top that's coming out a lot stronger than the others, and it's kind of squ- it has, It's not coming out the same as my other Morphe setting spray. That one's just kind of like a continuous mist. This one is, but there's like one 
kind of strand wait i wonder if there's something on the um nozzle yeah the top strand of this comes out a lot stronger i don't know if i'm making any sense but there's basically one part of it that's like a really strong stream and the rest is really fine mm-hmm yep it's still doing it that's really annoying why has this video been such a fail it smells amazing though like this setting spray smells so good i think i've just got a dodgy one which to be honest when you're paying like 18 pounds 16 pounds for a setting spray not really what you want i was not expecting this video to turn out like this i was kind of hoping it would be a lot more positive uh so i'm really sorry if this has come across negative but i'm just being honest right so my overall conclusion i do like the look that I've turned out with is definitely very dramatic for me, but I do think the overall look looks nice and it doesn't look super patchy unless you look really close. Um, the shimmers in the palette are absolutely stunning and most of the matte shades do feel really nice. However, the ones that I used, um, the greens in particular, the two green matte shades and the brown actually, just I think because they're pressed pigments, they just didn't blend nicely over a matte base i think you would definitely have to put down a wet concealer or a wet eyeshadow primer and then pack the shades on and then kind of lightly blend them rather than packing loads of matte colors over the top of each other because that's when they don't really blend but i'm not gonna lie i was a little bit disappointed in that just because I don't know, I thought it was going to be kind of easy to use, maybe I just went for the wrong colours, picking the greens. Right, I'm going to answer a question of the day, which I do at the end of every single video. Okay, so today's number one <laughs> question of the day is from And Dancer Actress, and they've said, Did your boyfriend know about your channel when you met, slash, what did he think about it? Um, so, yeah, when we met, he did know that I had a YouTube channel. I don't think he really knew too much about it. He'd probably stalk me a little bit, like, I don't know, probably. But yeah, because we met through one of my family friends I've known all my life, uh, my friend has kind of told him about what I did and what I do and stuff. So he did know that I made YouTube videos and I think, I don't think he knew it was my full-time job. Because when we first started speaking, he was like, what else do you do other than YouTube? I was like that's it <laughs> um, but yeah he thinks it's really cool he watches quite a few other youtubers so he knows quite a lot about it and he thinks it's really really cool so yeah there was never any kind of awkwardness in having to tell him and find it weird it was more just about like explaining what i do and how it all works and everything and it's been totally fine so far so right i'm gonna go now i hope you guys enjoyed this video um sorry that it's probably not what you were expecting but just in case you are interested i will link the palette and the setting spray and everything down below and uh morphe i will be emailing to get my five pound refund for my express delivery and yeah i will see you in my next video bye